What's up guys, Fusions here. Today, we're gonna be unboxing this Bakugan Legends Rare Elemental Nilius and Enoch Fusion Bakugan. So, let's get started guys. So today we're gonna be unboxing a rare Bakugan. This is the Fusion Nilius and Enoch Elemental Rare Bakugan. As you can see, it is a Fusion Bakugan, but this is only one faction. This is actually a Darkest Bakugan. So we're gonna see just Darkest on Darkest Fusion. So that's kind of cool. Um, this is an Elemental, so it is a rare as well. Uh, let's take a look at the back of this box. There it is, as you can see, all darkest, Nelius Enoch, looks pretty cool right there. We do have a character card, a gate card, and that is it for this pack. So let's get started, let's open it up, and let's take a look at it. By the way guys, if you're not in my Discord, go to the link in the description below, join the Discord. Gotta tell you guys, because there's a lot of people in the Discord, and um, I wanna start a little community for virtual brawlers there's been a lot of people virtual brawling if you're interested in that is basically playing the bakugan tcg online and it's pretty cool there's a lot of people playing it so yeah definitely join the discord for that let's let's take a look at these uh cards first and then we'll take a look at the bakugan all right so we only have the gate card and the character card we do not have any cores in here sadly but let's see this is the gate card here, uh, gate card number 13, and I actually did look at all my gate cards, so I do have every single gate card from year four that was released, so that's pretty cool. All the gate cards that I get from now on, now I know that they will be duplicates, so this is definitely a duplicate. Now let's take a look at the stats of this Fusion Bakugan. So here they are, so there, there are the two Bakugans, so we got Darkest, Nilius, and Enoch. We got a shield and a green fist. We got Nilius right there with Enoch on the side. 500 B power, 5 damage. Now, if you land on a green fist or if you land on a shield, you get to fuse this Bakugan. And it fuses onto this right here. Okay, okay. Not too bad. So, double darkest. We got two darkest uh, faction symbols on top. Uh, there's the fusion Bakugan. It looks pretty cool. 900 B power, 7 damage. Now, the stats aren't too bad. I really wish it carried maybe either a magic shield or a flame fist because if it carried a magic shield, it gets to 1550, which is not too bad. If it carried a flame fist, it would get to 13 damage. So that's pretty good. Uh, but it carries none of those. So, eh, I mean you're gonna have to borrow some cores from your team that's for sure if you want to use this one it is a fusion bakugan so actually now that i think about it if you do have a magic shield you could use the plus 800 b power because for fusion bakugan because it is a fusion so you would actually get to 1700 b power with that fusion plus 800 magic shield and you can get to 15 damage with the uh, fusion flame fist so okay so it makes it even better just because it's a fusion so you could definitely use and take advantage of those fusion cores now it does have an ability which is a victor ability if you do win with this bakugan you get to put your opponent's core back onto the field so you actually um, take your opponent's core when they close their bakugan because you did a win because of the um, you know that only activates if you do win and you get to put their core back instead of them putting it back you get to put it back so that's a good way to control um cores on the field not too bad okay so yeah with fusion cores this could actually be pretty good but if it doesn't have any fusion cores and it doesn't even carry the right cores so it's just gonna need some help from the team that you put them in so it could be good but of course, as always, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you guys think this could be strong? Let me know. Before we move on, I want you guys to go down in the comment section below. There's always a poll so you guys can vote on which Bakugan product I should open up next. So make sure you go down in the comments after the video and vote. So let's continue. So here we have the Bakugan. And um, I gotta say, right away, because it is at darkest on darkest, we're gonna have a lot of purple with black. 
and i really like that color scheme i think this uh translucent purple looks amazing we do have the elemental treatment on the wings here you can see that it does have those like details right there and a little bit of gold which is awesome double darkest faction symbols and they're both on uh with gold paint so that's pretty cool i do like that a lot the front here looks pretty nice i actually like this color here i think it looks good look it's on the eyes there i think it looks great on the eyes and on the feet a little bit and a little bit on the arms yeah looks really nice i really like how this looks a lot just the purple with the black i think looks great looks really really good a little bit on the tail of the elemental treatment as well and then we do have the 500 uh, b power right there with uh, written in gold of course yeah mostly purple but i really like the details of like this color here everywhere and the eyes as well and then of course the uh gold on the wings very very nice looking bakugan the only thing that i don't like about the design of this one is the head here the two heads in the front they kind of look a little weird to me this part but everything else like the body with the wings and the big arms here i think that looks great looks like a very cool design just like from here from the top they kind of look weird you see i don't know if they could have done something better than this for the heads um but still looks nice it looks pretty good i do like this fusion let me know in the comments if you guys like the design of this one and the color scheme i think the color scheme is just the best feature of this bakugan it looks amazing okay so now let's close this bakugan up so first we're gonna push the heads in like this and then the feet in as well make sure you hold both of those up then push both of these sides in at the same time now that's gonna hold the heads and the feet up so you can just hold it from there like this then we push the wings in hold all of that together and then the tail goes in pushing that down and that is it that is how you close this fusion bakugan now this does look like it's like kind of moving a little bit but that is just how it is yeah that's just how it is but that is uh, the right way to close it now let's roll it onto a core I guess in, in this case, we're going to roll it onto this gate card because uh, it did not come with Baku Core. So let's roll it onto that gate card and um, let's see how this opens up. Here we go. Three, two, one, brawl. And it kind of wanted to jump or something, but it did open up and it looked pretty cool. Um, so that is this Fusion Bakugan Milius X Enoch. All right, guys. So that's it for this opening of this really cool darkest darkest elemental nilius x enoch fusion bakugan such a cool bakugan i really like the darkest on darkest because like i said it's kind of rare to have a fusion bakugan that has uh two factions fused which are the same faction so this is like one of a kind bakugan and um the stats aren't too bad it just needs some help from the team that you do put them in so keep that in mind uh in the bakugan itself it's awesome it's a rare bakugan as well because it's an elemental and the color scheme just looks amazing i do like how this looks a lot like i said just except the head it kind of looks a little weird but everything else just looks awesome so i do like this bakugan a lot let me know in the comments what you guys think of this bakugan make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video subscribe and stay tuned for more bakugan content thanks for watching guys and peace out